Reverend Dr Dorothy Hyde. I'm the secretary of the Friends of the Burton Wurlitzer. We are a small charity that provide concerts for the uh, elderly, uh, people that live in care homes and warden aided accommodation get into our concerts for free, but everybody else is invited. Um, you're welcome, but we ask for a contribution towards the uh, charity's funds to support the, the work that we do and pay for the concerts. This organ is reckoned to be the best of the larger small instruments in this country. Uh, it is certainly one of the best maintained instruments. I've never known a time in the time that I've been playing it for what, the last four years or more, for anything not to work. It's well maintained and is a credit to the Burton Town Hall people, you know, the, the way that it, it performs. is the basis of the organ sound, which is the tibia flute. And if I wanted an octave louder, uh, I want it louder, I can go up an octave. Typical whirl, it's a sound on. <coughs> sounds. And then we've got the brass section. We've got the trumpet. what we call the toy counter. There's a snare drum. Crystal dot. It's a very pretty little instrument. Tambourine. Cast the net, and then the Chinese block. One of the reasons why we set up the Friends of the Bird and Wurlitzer was to try and raise interest in the instrument so that the instrument didn't go the way that a lot of these instruments are going these days, they're just being pulled out of buildings and scrapped. They're wonderful instruments, they're part of our heritage, and we feel that they need to be supported and encouraged because they are real music on a real instrument and we get a tremendous amount of pleasure. It's not just for the old folk. You can play all sorts of music, classical music, rock and roll, tunes from the 30s and 40s, you, can, you name it, jazz, could all be played on these instruments. It's just, it's a, they're, they're, they're capable of taking whatever it is that the uh, organist can play. At our last concert, we had an organist by the name of Phil Brown from Derby. He's reputed to be have the, some of the fastest fingers in the business. 
and this instrument decoded, coped with the speed of his playing it was absolutely fantastic. So yes, a wide variety of music depending on the organist. They are instruments, versatile instruments that we would be very sorry to ne neglect and let go. So we're keeping this instrument open, helping to keep this instrument open, going, come to our concerts and support them. You never know, you might suddenly find you've got a new career as well.